Oh boy. Um, Earl Johnson is a uh, <laughs> many layers. <laughs> So I'm a lab technician in the Department of Electrical Engineering. Um, I assist with lab setup, making sure we have the proper equipment, materials to run the labs. Um, I assist the instructors as far as making sure cadets have their questions answered if they should have a question in lab. Um, and I also help out with the capstone groups as well. But, you know, for me, I love, you know, golfing. I love doing photo and video. Um, love that stuff. ETs, uh, we like to call ourselves the Swiss Army Knives of the Coast Guard, right? We kind of do a little bit of everything, you know, whatever we're called to do, you know, we do it. But primarily, you know, um, communications, GPS, um, navigation, those are the types of systems we work on. It's a lot of uh, change now because of technology, right? A lot of uh, the systems that we learn to work on, you know, 10 years ago are pretty much obsolete now. So we constantly have to, you know, evolve our skills, evolve our learning um, and the things that we can do and our capabilities. You wouldn't be able to tell from this nice baby face, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm actually 44 and I didn't come into the Coast Guard until I was 28. Um, so before then, you know, I had got my college degree in athletic training, sports medicine, had an internship with the Steelers and, you know, went on and did a whole lot of things in my life. You know, at one point I was even homeless for about a week, two weeks. Um, and so, you know, I, I've got a lot of different experiences and um, I, I've always, you know, tried to ask God, why do I have all of these experiences, right? But for every person that I meet, <clears throat> if they have an issue or a problem, I've found that I have something in my life that I've been through that can speak to that person. You know, we all have something that we can contribute to one another. And if we put the barriers down of the isms or rank, you know, and, and keeping military bearing and, you know, respect, I think if, if you keep that and really lean into that, that you could really, really, really uh, do yourself and the service um, a lot of good.